Hey everybody. I found another game to actually be able to let's play or just a gameplay of it because it's not like a let's play because it's like, oh, this is how you do this, this is how you do this. I'm just going to play this. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Ooh. I don't know what it was, but one day I woke up and was like, what can I actually play that's not Harvest Moon and that I have? Well, I thought of Harry Potter because I have this one and Chamber of Secrets right now. Probably can find Prisoner at some point, and that's as far as I ever played in my personal. I've I owned Goblet of Fire. I did not understand any of it. Obviously, if I do purchase it again, I definitely figure it out. But let's let's start this. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713 mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! I always wondered what would have happened if he was actually, like, put into Slytherin. But I guess we'll never know. We just have to use our imaginations. I hope that my bindings are still Welcome on. to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Your glasses are messed no, up. No, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, They'd be replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't, Don't be late. late. Sorry. Um, boy. Hey, Harry! Remember me, Ron Weasley? My brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me! This game, like, brings back so much nostalgia for me. Follow me, Harry. Okay, then. Let me, like, actually be able to move. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. 
I'll see you later in Secret lesson? Class. Good luck, Harry. What kind of secret lesson? The world may never know. Spooky stuff. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Botts Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. So basically we're doing Fred and George's dirty work is what I am understanding out of this. That's fun. Well I must say, on the recording, now, it looks like jumping. way better right than it looks ledge, on my screen right now. Because <laughs> when I'm walking, it like down, chops up a little bit. Climb back but... up and start over. It's meet not us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut oh, and meet terrible. you. Terrible. To jump. Hit the right mouse button. Oh, the right mouse button. <laughs> Ooh. Oh gosh, I remember this. Oh, okay. oh, it's Potty Wee That's Peeves, the poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. Well, fudge him. He was probably a first year whenever he was actually alive. Probably. We let's run past him. <laughs> Beans. You'll get in the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate fogs boost your energy. Thirty bots every flavor beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need twenty-five beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us, and we'll show you the way to class. So basically, they're making me. Miss my lessons. Excuse me. To get jelly beans. Sounds like a reasonable enough answer, honestly. I'm sorry, sir. I was not in class because I need to go collect all the Bertie Bots every flavored bean. Damn straight. And chocolate frogs. Second. I almost pushed the left mouse button. It's okay. Ugh. Um. I think that's all of them. Here you go. Talk Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <coughs> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Excitement. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck! To view the wizard cards, you step into them. Oh, that's what it's talking about. <laughs> okay. Let's go to our first class. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Oh, well. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy. Potter. Do well to show I feel like he spits steps. every time he says These it. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Bullshit, you're gonna win. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? The fence against the dark so heart is through this door. Follow me. Let's go. I am Professor Quibble. Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Nepenthe spell. The 
This is the symbol for the Fipendo spell. Now behold, oh God. I hate you so much. Make the same pattern and then click go on the button. Uh, up on this up already. I'm terrible. The pass mark is fifty percent. I kinda had a cut off right now. Because I was trying to figure out how to Well done, Mr. Potter. Five Try again, Mr. Potter. Random ghost. Oh, she decided against it. She's like, no, fuck that shit. Holy shit, that's terrible. I hate these so much because I'm such a perfectionist. I passed it though, but I never get past the fourth one. That was. <coughs> or. I get to the third one, I pass it. I never pass the fourth. I said that, didn't I? And again, Mr. Potter. And again, Mr. Potter. Uh, I will be the worst person ever. Ah! No! Okay, well, I give up on that. I still pass. That's what I think about. Well, Done, Mr. Potter. Fifteen points. Yeah, we're doing good. Try working faster this time, Mr. Potter. I don't want to work faster. I will attempt as much as I can. Huh? That one little thing probably messed me up. Oh, I beat it by one percent! Yay! Hot on, Mr. Potter. Yes. Twenty points for Gryffindor. If you make me do it again, I swear. Okay, we're good. I did it. Usually, I don't pass that one. <laughs> if you can't tell by the one percent. Practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. You got it, dude. Why do I have to be the only one that does this? Hold down the mouse because I'm the famous the Harry Potter. Spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t Try it on that barrel. On that barrel, we do this. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something. The volume's not too loud. Okay, yeah, let's just leave it there. Cast your flipendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. Potter. Knock that bitch over. That's one thing I didn't like on this game, the moving of the wand. Sometimes it's just like, nope, you gotta do this. Yeah. We got a star, don't we today? I have a feeling I'm gonna die like at least two or three times on this. Like I'm gonna miss a jump at some point and it'll be just terrible. I'll meet you further on. Okay, so this way. Of course when I get on and start recording, everyone starts messaging. Again. It always happens. Doors. Oh. Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick the Gryffindor House ghost. 
Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Bye. Yes, we are saved. I wonder if it's just the music that's like making that weird clicky noise. It might be because I don't think it's me. Everything. But I was picking up my beans. <laughs> Cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. You got it, dude. I think it's just the music, yeah. So I'm sorry if that bothers you. It is an old game. <laughs> Actually, already at 17 minutes. But I'll obviously play another one. I've just been in the mood to want to play this. Oh, I missed. Okay. Whew. Harry, you're so cool. You can just jump on things randomly. This is the part I die at a lot. Because of this stupid black stuff you see down there. Ugh! We're good. Hopefully there's like a save point up here. And if there is, I will definitely save. Woohoo! Especially since we're like almost done with this area, but I don't really want to go over 20 or so minutes. Oh, okay, that's not fair. Oh, I can jump that far. Ugh. Come on. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, you almost did not have that. Such spook. I enjoy how the bot the beans color the walls. No oh. Sad days.
Or else I'll just actually be able to finish this. Yeah, I think I'll be able to finish this. Oh, God, these things. This is a no, Mr. Potter. They like to p p pester young wizards. Knock him on his backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be c quite a nuisance. Yes, they are. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected all the challenge stars. 20 p points for Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to b broomstick p practice. Cool. Back in the Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break in at Gringotts Wizard Bank, but there was little time to dwell on this since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Oh, well, it's not gonna let me. Damn it! Well, after this, then. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. The keys. The keys that must adjust have your flight speed. Speed. Something's glitching now. That's weird. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Oh, God. I know I'm really bad at this sometimes. You do with smaller rings, smaller. Probably because sometimes I think they're inverted keys and they're not. Let's add a bit of height. I don't know what is wrong with the sound right now, but it's really bothering me. She's even glitching out. Please challenge you. Nonsense. Nothing can challenge me. Oh, maybe. Okay, we're good. No! Doing so good. I would go finish that, but I can get that at a later time. Sorry, I've been quiet. I've been concentrating on getting these. I believe you have a natural talent for this. Okay, there we go. A skillful display, Mr. Potter. Fifteen points for Gryffindor. Woo. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Yeah, I'll do it then. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. Good day, Mr. Potter. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. So, thank you guys for watching, and tell me how you like this. I don't really know how it's gonna go. It's just kind of me playing a game that I enjoyed as a child when I first got my first computer. So, 
just tell me what you think. Okay. Bye.